What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 22 Ultimate Team Gameplay. And if you read the title correctly, yes, we are going to be playing the Seahawks Club representative for the past couple years. Rest in peace to clubs. There's no more clubs, obviously, but we're going to be playing Decroft. I was just playing a little bit of Mutt Head to Head last night, and I was in my playoffs as well, and we matched up with Decroft. And honestly, um, you never really want to play him. He runs U Trips, a form that hardly any people run in this game. So, I mean, that's, uh, I feel like a disadvantage, you know, not getting enough reps. Two, he's one of the biggest sweats. Obviously, we are all sweats on this channel. Um, but, you know, he's a big sweat. Like, that. he's someone that locks in from the first play of the game to the last. Uh, that's definitely someone you really do want to play, like, in reps or money games. Because they have a really good knowledge of the game. And, you know, I'd rather play someone who is trying super hard and, you know, uh, giving it their all than someone who's kind of just, eh, you know, half assing I guess you could say. And yeah, man, we matched up with him. It was a great game. Um, like I said, it was in my playoffs. So go show him some love, man. I'm going to leave his links in the description. He just started his YouTube channel up. But besides that, man, if you do enjoy my channel, um, I post, you know, weekly, daily almost. Post the best content as in, you know, competitive side of things. Um, if you're a fan of competitive Madden and, you know, you want the best tips, the best gameplays, the best tricks, this is a channel to follow, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. So, you know, help, help your boy out a little bit by leaving a like, commenting what you guys want to see next, and, of course, subscribing so you can see our weekly uploads. With all that being said, let's get into the gameplay. So, guys, obviously, TTV Decroft, um, he is going to be rocking the Buccaneers jerseys, plus uh, he's going to be rocking the Buccaneers jerseys, so I assume he has Buccaneers theme team. It's actually a theme team I was just using, um, but I recently just did switch to Redskins excuse me, Washington football team due to Sean Taylor coming out. I'll make a theme team video very soon if I do decide to go 25-25 or whatever it may be. Um, I just really do want to wait till Friday and Saturday Legends come out. So expect a video on that very soon. I know you guys love your theme teams. You want to stay up to date with the best theme teams, the most competitive theme teams. So I got you with that very soon. This game is going to start off very, very rough. We're going to motion out Jamar Chase and our game like lags a little bit right here. I don't know if you peep it. Um, but definitely just not the read. I'm kind of surprised he played that. Um, it was very late at night. I've been playing Mutt Head Head for, you know, the past couple hours. And, you know, I just missed the read. I'm so used to playing the bots. I give it up. Uh, I probably did have that if I waited a little bit and pass led it over the top. And, yeah, man, that's just not the way you want to start off versus Decroft. Um, he's not the best defensive player, but he knows his zone drops to a T, his coverages to a T. And, you know, this is where things get tough, at least for me. Some people say U-Trips isn't all that good or, you know, they can stop it very easily. Personally, for me, I really haven't been able to beat Decroft this year. As right there, our purple matches on, leaving that running back in route wide open. He has Reggie Bush with that backfield mismatch. And here he goes out the pistol, man. Um, I was very shocked when I seen the pistol, but I guess this is his red zone offense. You see right there, he runs triple option. And, you know, I could tell you for a fact, that this uh, handoff to the running back, tight end, whatever it may be, is pretty glitched. And it's obviously a reason why he runs it, because it's good, you know? See right here, he gets a super handoff, and he just bounces it out. Great blocking. You get a shed right there, and there goes George Kittle, someone you don't really see at running back, or, you know, I guess he uses him to air truck, you know, it's very smart. But we're going to be down 7-0. Like I said, this is legend, uh, the highest tier of Mutt Seasons, and it's my playoffs. So, you know, it would suck to lose. But this is still going to be, you know, a great gameplay for you guys. It's right here, guys. We're just going to try to get back in the game. Um, if you didn't watch my tip Thursday, I'm literally recording this on Thursday. I do have plan on dropping a video on showing you guys the best bomb in the game. We try to go for it, and we may have had it. Tell me if you guys think I had X right there. Um, this is an insane bomb in Madden, man. It, the zones are broken because they don't really guard it. And, you know... You have to use that. So if you haven't watched that video, my latest Tip Thursday video, I know I did Tip Tuesdays, Tip Thursdays. This so happened to be a Tip Thursday. Um, this was ran in the MCS. As we're going to run it here, Peep Galloway, man. Uh, he gets open, but we get shedded by D-Ware, I believe. This is the best bomb in the game. Implement it into your scheme by watching my video. And, you know, take notes, man. Just hit that like button if you did watch that video already. It's one of the best bombs in the game. The best bomb in the game. It's right here, man. We haven't completed a pass yet. I know, like, I haven't been playing good offense, but I don't think I've been playing bad offense at all. It's right here, easy flat routes, and, you know, he's able to make the tackle. Uh, I really don't, like, he has Sean Murphy bunting out there. 
I don't know what his zone is and all that stuff, but, you know, he got a pick with him, so I don't know, man. I might be a little ass for that. As right here, pretty much if we don't get this, this is going to be game. Um, fourth and inches, we're going to run verticals again, and he's going to blitz the crib. I believe he blitzes six right here, and he does, and verticals is wide open. Joey Galloway with a nice spin move. Got him on skates, and we're going to take it to the Baja. Tie this thing up. Sliding into that end zone. I do believe I go for two right here. Um, let's see if we get it. So right here, we're going to hit Darren Waller on this flat route. He plays like fives, I believe, but it really just doesn't matter, man. Uh, the flats in this game are broken, as you see right there. We do get the lead. Even though he's up a possession, we have the lead. It's looking decent for us. You know, great bounce back drive. But man, oh man, will I get a stop? Stay tuned. He's right here, man. Running a little bit of a cover three, trying to blitz. He delay fades his tight end, which pretty much picks up the blitz. And he's going to hit Galloway on this in route. Uh, sorry for the lag, man. I got to figure out really why it is. Because uh, what I do, guys, I'll, I think I'll make the sacrifice. What I do is I'll stream in Discord to my friends to watch, but I stream off OBS. And when I hit record, it's just super laggy, as you can see right here. So I'm just going to go back to Streamlabs OBS and, you know, record off that. Because that's really never, you know, messes up. As right here, we play pretty good defense, just have a pretty bad user. And it, dep it just it's just a play of his pocket, man. He has a great pocket right there. He kind of does a nice little swerve. I'm sorry if you guys missed it once more. And he's able to hit us with a crossing route dot. But that was great, you know, Mabel defense. I had a hook curl there too. I definitely should have just kept on that user. Um, I really didn't know if the hook was going to guard the thing or not, the curl route or not. It's right here. Uh, he hits Reggie Bush on an easy flat. I believe that was like a swing route maybe. Right here, man. Uh, just in the red zone, you got to hold the three. I feel like we play pretty good defense right here. We stack the left side up with zones. I mean, if he had a streak or something anywhere, it would have been a dot. But we play really good defense, and he is going to just throw this ball away. Sorry for the lag. Right here, we stack the left side up with zones. Uh, if he had a third anywhere there, excuse me, a streak anywhere there, it would have been a touchdown. But instead, we play pretty good defense. Uh, word to the wise, man, if you can't get a stop, you know, don't hold your head too low. None of us could get stops. But, you know, what you can do is try to get a stop in the red zone. Um, threes are better than sevens if you are on defensive side of things. It's right here. Ooh, 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 ooh. I feel like I have mid-zone KO on Ed Reed. He's got to play that better. If he does, man, I could get that diving uh, animation where they drop it. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But mid-zone KO is super glitchy in that aspect. It's right here, man. This is it. Fourth and inches. We know he's not going to run. No one runs on this type of scenario. I have to guard this tight end out route, and we just don't. The one time we come out in man, he motions over, and, you know, just a bad user. So I came out and cover one robber right there, but I actually did run zone. So when he audible uh, his guy over, motioned his receiver over, it just messed up everything. Sleep user, and, yeah, just an easy conversion, man. I felt like that was really good defense, if you ask me. It's right here. We're going to run some good defense again. And guess what? Again, a sleep user. I want to say he highballed that. Could be mistaken. But, you know, we will take the cheat. You know, it's not a crazy cheat because he still has two, three more downs to convert. But it is something that would, you know, definitely impact the MCS game for sure. It's right here. Once more, man coverage, purples, hooks. Just trying to get some good, you know, defense. And I feel like we have great defense right here. He's going to throw it away. Big third down on the way. And this is it, man. We could get our stop back. Um, we did go for two. So, you know, even if he does kick three, which, you know, he may still go for it if it's a fourth down and long from the goal line. Um, I feel like we'll be really, you know, have a nice possession of this game. It's right here. Once more, great defense, man. The theme is great defense with a sleep user and another broken play. Oh, man, that hurts. Uh, fourth and one now. And I won't say even another broken play, but that was a broken play, man. It's right here. He's going to go back to this pistol form. And, you know, I'm like, okay, I can still get a stop. You know, it's a broken play. Dudes are throwing the ball off their back foot. Um, but we could still get this stop, man. No worries. We're going to get an over G, and we're going to try to shoot a gap. Maybe this isn't something he's seen before. And he's just going to call hike and truck our guy, man. Definitely a tough scene. I felt like we were there. We were actually there. I didn't run commit. Um, I feel like if I ran commit, it would have been a stop. As right here, we are going to run commit. And we'll, I'll show you like how easy this was to blow up if you run commit. He just shoots the gap for you. 
Definitely should have ran commit, but it is what it is. Could still maybe hold the door, question mark. Right here once more in the pistol. And you can't shoot gaps this year, man. I already know this, but we still try to do it. And he scores a touchdown. Should have 100% ran commit again. Um, but, you know, great drive. And wait until you see how many plays this drive was. It's just like, it, it, it's so frustrating when you're, like, playing a really good offensive player that's taking their dink, their dunk, their dink and dunk. They miss a read one play. See right here, 12 plays, 76 yards. But they still convert those to fourth downs. He, on that drive, had two fourth downs. One was easy. Um, they were actually both easy. But, you know, it's tough, man, because, you know, the clock gets drained. And, you know, you, you kind of get drained morally. Uh, your morale gets drained for sure when you get, you know, just dotted down the field for 10, 12, 14, even 15 play drives. That's right here, man. We are gonna try to hit him with the bomb again. We're super cheesy, man. Um, I don't actually, I didn't actually hit him with a bomb last play, but here we go. D. Croft, I know, is already mad. Uh, you know, if you play backed up coverage, you know, quarters, I believe that was cover four quarters, and you're able to still bomb him, that's insane. I think that was actually a deep half, and he's just definitely just visibly frustrated. Um, I could already just see like. Knowing Decroft as a friend, as a player, that's just something that would definitely irk him a lot. Even though he's the one who had the crazy bombs last year. I don't know if you guys remember the cover three bombs. Uh, that's definitely something that he probably hadn't seen before and definitely caught him off guard. It's right here, man. We are going to run a little bit of red zone offense. And honestly, I think he ran commit right there. Kind of caught me off guard. I was going to just roll out, hit the tight end. But the whole middle of the field was open. I just really did think he ran commit. I really don't know what that was, honestly. But we're still on a third and one. We have the hut hut, the two minute warning on our side. And we're going to hit easy reads on this left side. Nice dot to Jamar Chase. Someone I'm going to replace very soon. I think they broke Jamar Chase. He is not as good as he was. Obviously, the speed thing. We all know why he's not as fast anymore because everyone else is faster. But I feel like they just he's just not it, man. If you have him on your field still, I mean, he could ball out. But definitely got to get like a Roy Williams or who I'm going to get, Calvin Johnson. It's right here, man. We are in a bad situation. Um, right here, we do send pressure, and he's still able to throw a dot. We ran cover two. We sent six. He stepped up in the pocket. And that fade, streak, whatever it may be, just got by our zones. But this is not a good spot whatsoever. He gets ball at half. He could take this and make this the last drive of the game. Last possession of the half, I should say. It's right there. We play great defense and another broken play. Goodness gracious. It's just so annoying. Uh, he just throws off his back foot. Again, we play perfect coverage. And Buchanan just gets routed on the bounce back. I don't know how. I guess, you know, that's just how it is this year. You can't really run man too much. But it is what it is. Uh, you know, we could still get the ball before half if we play good defense in the red zone. It's right here. Great defense. Honestly, just a bag. Nothing was open. Um, but you got to do that for four plays in a row, man, in this game. So, you know, if you get it one time, cool. You could kind of like maybe use that second and 16 long down and long distance to in your favor. But in reality, you have to really play good defense four straight downs in this game of Madden. It's right here. That's what we do for a second straight down. We throw uh, Morig and to man coverage on Reggie Bush and you know he doesn't get too many yards third and 13 this is where you could get a stop man uh, I'm feeling really good I'm gonna come out and cover four and run tens and tens really playing safe passive defense um, I do have linebackers out there that's the issue but I really do think we'll get the job done right here but honestly I should have played safe passive defense I actually do blitz because I think I could get a stop um, let me see if this is a move, man. It's right here. No, it wasn't. We should have played safe defense. Uh, sorry for the choppiness, but he throws a simple out route to his running back or table route, whatever it was. And my user just wasn't there. Very sleepy user. I tried to click on to Lorenzo Carter. I, I know you guys saw that, but it just wasn't happening. Right here, man. Big play before half, and we give up a streak. Our hook curl played the inside. I should have manned that up. Just been a while since I played U-Trips. Um, terrible, man. There was four seconds left. We could have held them to three. It's right here, man. We come out in a different defense. A uh, very bad user again. I wouldn't even say that's a bad user. That's just me thinking, you know, he's going to look off the out route. Um, 
But nonetheless, you know, great play. It's right here. We are in the dime. The big dime 146. I uh, hadn't really been running it all year. Kind of started running it as of late, and it's pretty good. It's right here. We are offsides, but we play phenomenal defense. We screamed off that left and right edge, but our user somehow was offsides. It is what it is, man. At this point, you know, I'm just trying to get a stop to get back in the game, whether it's a fluky stop or not. There's already been a couple plays gone against me that I can't get back. Um, so at this point, we're just going to send the heat and try to adjust as right here. Um, that's a bad user, man. Another bad user. I thought the pressure was going to get in there in time. He looked at my user off. I thought, you know, if I just stay on that route for a little bit, he'll look it off. Most people do. And he kept looking at our user and just hit that route over the top. It's right here, trying to adjust once more. And, you know, right here, really good adjustments. Can we get back? And we don't. We drop an interception. Um, that, was, that was open. But, you know, with Acrobat, you can't trust anything. That was our chance to get back in the game. You know, that's what I wanted, to play a little risky, try to get a stop, try to send some pressure, make him uncomfortable. Right here, we get clicked onto Montez Sweat. And, you know, you drop a pick one play, the next play, it's going to be a touchdown. He spins in the end zone. I was definitely mad at this point in the time when I was playing. But now, you know, it's a head-to-head -head game. I'm chill. Just, like, so many, like, dumb things. Like, I got clicked onto my user, as in Montez Sweat, you know. User been sleepy, third and ten, fourth and tens. We just can't get off the field. Um, I really don't feel like I should be down 13. Obviously, I did throw a dumb, boneheaded interception. And, you know, it is what it is. You can't get those back. Right here, we're going to hit him over the top, guys. But we underthrow this, it seems like. Definitely should have passed that inside. Um, looked like an underthrow, though. Should have been a touchdown. But, you know, we're going to just no huddle at this point. We're just trying to get back in the game, try to get another stop. And right here, we're going to go with verticals. And he has a quarter, I believe. Bad read. GG's. Head read. And he is uh, going to crib it to the ball hop. Honestly, the score does say that we got flooded. I really don't think it was like that. But GG's a decroft. We've been playing all year, and he does have my number. Um, nothing too crazy, but, you know, it is what it is. That's some, definitely someone I am have my eye out for. If you guys did enjoy that gameplay, consider leaving a like and subscribing. I have, I'll have plenty of more gameplays like that for the rest of the year. That's just something on a light day. I know we caught the L, but, you know, we do post our Ls around here to make ourselves better. Till next time, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this video and the videos I got coming out for you guys soon. Take it easy. And I'll catch you soon.